Okay, so you finished your animation, you're ready to play Blast, and then you have to put it all together from image sequence to video file. But the problem is, you don't own Adobe CC, so what are you to do? Well, you can't use Handbrake, which I've discovered, because Handbrake won't open an image sequence. So we have a problem, or do we? Actually, the solution is probably already on your computer, and it goes by the name of Blender. Watch. I'm going to play blast my animation here. And it goes through the regular cycle. There we go. It's running through. You can see I've got my reference footage here. I've labeled my animation with, with image planes. And uh, so what we do is we actually head to Blender after we're done rendering our sequence. We'll just wait for Blender to launch. And when we launch Blender, this time we're going to go to video editing. And so in video editing, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the length. And I know that I'm rendering out 72 frames, so that's what I'll do, 1 to 72. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to click Add Image Sequence. My image sequence is sitting in a folder on my desktop. So I'll go there and I'll go to images and I'm going to select the first and the last frame in my sequence and then I'll go add image sequence. So there we are. So now if I scrub this, you'll see that I've got the full three seconds of animation sitting there. So there we go. So now that that's done, what we need to do is output our footage. So that's found in the output folder. So we'll scroll there and then what we're going to do is we're going to select the folder that we want to render to. So once again I'll go to my movies folder and when I get here what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to name this full or name this movie correctly. This is how I suggest you do that. So you're going to go last name, your last name, first name, your first name, underscore, comp, ball, bounce, underscore, final. So there you go. So now we've got our name here. Your last name, your first name, underscore, comp, ball, bounce, underscore, final. I'll hit accept. So that's great. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I actually render it out correctly. So... What we'll do is we'll choose our file format and we're going to make it FFmpeg video. Then we're going to click encoding to open that up and we're going to choose a different container. We're going to choose MPEG-4 and we're going to choose video codec 264, H264, that's great. Output quality, we'll go with perceptually lossless and that will work just fine. So now we have our codec set up, we have our file name, all that's left to do is to render. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that, and I'll go to render, render animation, and that's done. So now we can minimize, and we can go to our project folder, open up our movies folder, and there we have it. I might get rid of that extra text there. Oh, there it is. We'll just do that one more time here. There we go. And hit enter. And then launch it. And there you have it. An MPEG-4 or an MP4 with H.264 codec. Again, you have your reference, you have your 3D animation, you have your background, and you have your label. And that's how you do it.